Hi, my name is Zaid. I've been a martial artist since a uh, kid. And I've had an interesting journey over the last 15 years. But I'd have to say that the last uh, four years since I've met Sifu Danny Xuan has really been the highlight of my martial art career and my martial art journey. Mm, let me tell you a bit about myself. I was born in New Zealand and I've traveled around the world due to my family uh, relocating um, and for work. Um, I learned Taekwondo in Malaysia uh, from a few different teachers over the period of about nine years. In that time I went to several tournaments and did pretty well, winning most of them. And I received a second down black belt, which was, you know, a pretty big deal for me. But throughout that, I also experimented quite a bit with different martial arts. Uh, I was always training with uh, other martial artists. Uh, I would get challenged quite a bit by different people uh, to test out my Taekwondo skills. And having longer legs and pretty powerful kicks I fared pretty well and I had a lot of faith in Taekwondo as sort of the base martial art in which I um, explored other martial arts but that kind of changed about five years ago um, after I got married put on a bit of weight and lost a lot of the fitness that I had during my golden years of Taekwondo. So <clears throat> Wing Chun popped up and I learned from a few teachers in New Zealand, in Thailand, and finally in Thailand I met Sifu Danny Xuan. Our paths met really strangely uh, I was just in Thailand for a short period of time, just a year, uh, for work. And in fact, soon after I left, he also moved to back to Canada. While he was there, he one of the reasons why I didn't spend more train uh, spend more time training with him uh, than I than I would that I now realize uh, I want. I, wa I wasted was because he had he was traveling also quite a bit to China and uh, and from Morocco also but man once I actually sat with him uh, for the first time when we could when our paths finally allowed us to meet um, I couldn't take I couldn't I just couldn't believe what I was hearing from him now, mind you, I had gone through about three or four different uh, Wing Chun teachers on and off, and I had also uh, scoured the internet uh, for good Wing Chun. So when I met this guy, I knew in the first uh, hour that I had found someone who was talking about stuff that was obviously deeper, uh, obviously stronger, and a lot more uh, practical and and uh, philosophical than anyone I'd ever spoken to before and the most beautiful thing to me was how everything he taught me related to life related to even politics uh, religion uh, he tied in biomechanics he tied in the physical laws of the universe and it really allowed me to find my place in Wing Chun Without him, I can honestly say I would not have stuck with Wing Chun for long. Because if you look around the Wing Chun community, I'm sorry to say this, but there aren't many good examples of real fighters out there. And if you look on YouTube videos, you know, people upload their stuff, and I was never impressed with any of it, to be honest. 
one because I've been in the martial art community for about 15 years and and I was never shy to cross train I even invented my own martial art as a teenager um, you know trying to get the best out of out of the, the martial arts that I'd studied I know or I had an inkling of an idea on what would really work and what wouldn't and I also have um, some experience in the security industry um, I was a restraint guard and this is where I really put my teachings to the test in uh, dealing with confrontational patients in a hospital you know drunk people um, people who just hit their head and really want to lash out and they sort of require some uh, we called ourselves restraint guards now I couldn't you know bust out all my uh, martial arts skills I acquired over 15 years on them but the experience gave me a real understanding of what happens in real conflict and that is nothing you can predict and I think that's where Sifu Dany's uh, understandings have impacted me the most he made me realize that it doesn't matter how long you've trained in, in, in a martial art it doesn't matter how many techniques you've gathered up over the years it doesn't even matter how good you are to be honest <laughs> because real confrontations are spontaneous, they're fluid, and they're very, very sudden. So, although uh, Sifu Denny's, you know, trained me to a degree which I consider myself um, very skilled uh, for for the amount of time I've uh, trained in Wing Chun, I would have to admit that what he really left as a legacy for me was uh, the mind shift he was able to give me. I can honestly say I'd be lost without the, the mental attitudes, the logical um, abilities he opened up within me to rationalize and to apply theory to real life in martial arts. For that, I'll be eternally grateful to him. Um, I'm now his committed student, and he's allowed me uh, very graciously to spread his teachings amongst my friends and uh, students here in, in New Zealand. And um, that's only helped me further improve um, the teachings he's left for me. I can honestly say, I can honestly say without any hesitation that he's the most underrated martial artist I've ever come across uh, in my 15 years of, of martial art training and research. So um, I'm happy to send this video to him. Uh, so I'm happy to make this video uh, for him. You're really missing out if you haven't, uh, if you don't give him, uh, if you don't give his training a try.